Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. Did James fall asleep at Target yesterday? He did. Did he basically sleep for 12 hours until the next morning? Yes, but that is still early for yeah. us. <laughs> is it frigid out? It's so chilly, and our heaters are on the fritz. Yeah, which is why Sarah's got like her full-on pajamas below it, and but she's so cold, she's like, I'm grabbing my, whatever that's called. Robe. Robe. And the kids are just playing. Eating date, date and fig bars. Happy Friday! Hey! Hey! I got this space heater for you. Last time the heaters were on the fritz, the they were sick of us calling, so they gave us this. just woke up from a nap. Um, so our day took a different spin. Which was kind of a bummer because we were looking forward, it's Friday, end of a full work week, um, that we've been so good about our routine, um, keeping the house clean and organized every night, working out. Um, today was the end of quarantine. So Sarah and I tested for COVID today at home and curveball, Sarah's negative. Um, but I was positive. I have not had a single symptom this entire time. And so it's just a little frustrating because that means that like I still need to quarantine, but Sarah and the boys don't need to, which we've got like family plans this weekend. Plus we wanted to get out into the city cause we haven't done anything since Florida. So like, that's why it's a bummer. Cause then it's like, okay, well. Ooh, Jim's eating the snack and he's loving it. So, to give you a little bit of a time frame if you didn't watch the mega vlog, what was it, the 16th, today's the 27th. It was the 15th slash 16th when the boys were sick. It was the 16th when Sarah started feeling sick. Six days ago, or five days ago? Six days ago? Sarah and I tested, Sarah was positive, and I was negative, still with no symptoms. So we were like, okay, we'll just wait until we're out of like the traditional um, quarantine. We even like did a more conservative quarantine. So after being home for basically this week and a half, a little over a week and a half, um, Sarah and I like, okay, well, we'll test just to make sure like Grant is coming into the city for some errands. And so maybe he was going to stop by. Sarah and I test this morning. Sarah's now negative, which is great. And she hasn't had symptoms for days and days. I still don't have symptoms, but I tested positive. So now we kind of got to figure out what that means. Um, yeah, kind of disappointed in that, but we're going to do what's right and safe for myself, the family, and the world. So I um, think that means a quarantine continues, at least for Peter. Look at his big kid in the car. I'm trying a new movie out with James E for him. We're gonna watch Meet the Robinsons. He's been really into the frogs in the Miss Rachel segments. And I was like, there's singing frogs in Meet the Robinsons. Like, let's watch that. Also, a lot of you guys guessed that he was gonna be Lewis for Halloween this year. And I think that's a fabulous option for the future. Um, so yeah, we're a little like, we were like, went into this Friday, like, with our engines roaring, um, thinking we were gonna be gonna get out, and so, like Peter said, he tested positive. So, we're trying to we're trying to save the day. We're trying to boost our spirits. Um, like we started last Friday, we are gonna get something from Chicago Diner. Don't know what we'll choose just yet, but we will get a pick me up treat soon from there to celebrate Friday. It's still a good day, right? It's Friday. We're feeling better, even like Peter doesn't feel sick. Also, good news, the heat kicked on. So if you watched the mega vlog or even vlogs before our trip, you will know that we have been focusing on this new routine or just like basic habits during our day that make life, I don't know, just feel good and like simple and I don't know, just sets you up for success. These clips might be a little bit out of order because I was like, thinking about things as I was talking um, so to start I've been trying to make the bed in the morning and then like I go and like 
change my clothes, like freshen myself up, like brush my teeth, wash my face, all that stuff in the morning to feel good. Um, just in like my own my own self, which I have definitely let fall to the wayside just being so comfortable being home with the kids. Um, and so I think that's like what has felt the best for me is being intentional, taking care of myself, like doing the Peloton and stretching, but also just like other little things that like just make you feel human. And some of the key things are I do one load of laundry every day, just I like throw clothes in the washer instead of a hamper, kind of like cutting out extra tasks or like extra energy. Um, and so we've just been putting our dirty clothes like straight in the wash and then every day I do a load of wash that can like go in the dryer. And then in the morning, <laughs> he's playing with your train track. Um, and then in the morning I fold it. And so it's already folded and then when the kids go to bed, that's when I put it away. So that's like an integral piece of the routine. Also, getting outside. So like instead of it just being like a default for Peter or I to take out Eve, we've been doing a good job of like switching off and like getting our bodies outside, even just having our windows open, sunlight. A midday tidy is also important. Um, as well as like before going to bed, we make sure that the Brita is filled up, the dishwasher's running, and I've been editing at night. And then during nap time, that's when I like actually put the vlog up. Um, so those are just like our like little things throughout the day that have like put our energy in better places. And so I'm curious like what you do. Oh, also at night I empty out all the little garbages in the house into the big garbage and then in the morning Peter takes it out. So that's like another thing that like is just, it's not even a thought, it's just a part of our day. Um, so I was curious if you have little things throughout your day that you do. Yeah. He's kind of getting passionate about um, Meet the Robinsons. Maybe our routine can inspire you and you can inspire us. You gonna do your tongue trick? <laughs> oh, you want the camera? Hey. Ooh, there it is. I hope I'm getting it. Oh. <laughs> <Bad. laughs> you are a cute kid. Get that tongue back. Get that tongue back. of the chaos that just ensued over the past few hours. There is chaos. Um, we had our dear friend Kristen go and look at a house for us. We've been like mulling over that. Um, we are people who like typically know exactly what we want. And after she left, we just still weren't certain. Like we thought that the tour would be like a given if we wanted to jump on it or not. You really do need to make decisions quick with renting and buying and all of those sorts of things right now with real estate in America. And we still have two months essentially until we actually leave and I think we've just come to terms with the fact that if we don't want to pay double rent that we just need to hold off on looking for a bit and um, really like prioritize what what we want because every time we look there's stuff that we like. And there are going to be more, there's so much properties like down there. Um, so, but mulling over that, <laughs> big life decisions, that that kind of took a lot out of us. Um, the boys' naps have kind of been creepy today. Maintenance was here patching some stuff in our bathroom that kind of quickly escalated. We had a leak right before we left. Um, for Florida and then there's like some random cracking going on so then maintenance was here and our pick-me-up from Chicago Diner turned into like we should like actually eat dinner at home and this is more of just like a treat so we picked out some appetizers instead of milkshakes so soon that'll be picked up I didn't do much of the routine today I still have to get the vlog up I still have to fold laundry but now that Peter is done with work for the day we can kind of recalibrate and like 
not stress over big life decisions anymore and watch some movies because we went a little on a little movie shopping spree on like our Apple account. Yay! Wow! Wow, look! Oh, Mommy went and got some food. Mommy went and got some food. I got waffle fries, but those are good. Oh, Captain, those are for you, baby. You need some ketchup. Um, before we continue with the food, I wanted to tell you guys that I got like a little gift card thing um, from somebody at work, and we used it to redeem it through my like office's pool to get an Apple gift card. And we could have done like more responsible things, got an Amazon gift card, bought groceries or things we need, like diapers and stuff from it. But I was like, you know what? When this happens at work, I like to use it on frivolous things because it's like a bonus fake. We never expected it. So we got a $100 gift card to Apple. And these are the movies we bought. Such a variety. Meet me in St. Louis. Which we have on. Which we have on. The Jordan Peele bundle of Nope, Us, and Get Out. The, um, I forgot the title of it, but it was like, the Shaun of the Dead Hot Fuzz trilogy. Well, not really trilogy, but like genre of movies. The Hot Fuzz, Shaun of the Dead, and The World's End. The Notebook, and Beetlejuice. So we got those two, four, six, eight, nine movies. Pretty sweet. Arguably the best scene of Meet Me in St. Louis is their Halloween night. Comment below if you know this movie. It's probably one of our most quoted movies. So the Chicago Diner has been meat three since 83, but most of it is plant-based. Every once in a while they give you the option to like use real cheese, but this is totally plant-based what we got. So it's spinach artichoke dip, which is a lot. It's a big container. And all these crostini. And then these are Thai chili wings. Like that's like their, I don't know how you say it. Seitan? Mm -hmm. um, like their fake re meat replacement for wings. And some sort of little dipping sauce. How's the spinach artichoke? Can you, is it very fake cheesy? Oh. You guys know that Brookhart's like a good challenge and this Disney Files emphasizes everything about being a DVC owner and a good challenge. That is, can you secure tickets to a Moonlight Magic as a local resident? Not with a reservation to a resort because it is easier, but to get the golden ticket Sarah, do you remember going to Moonlight Magics when we lived there and nobody knew about them? And we like went to every single one without even a problem, getting all the tickets, getting all the Mickey Peen bars. We brought like 75 Mickey Peen bars home. <sighs> so now they've gotten more popular, they're harder to get if you don't have a reservation because you have a different booking window. But challenge accepted, the Brookhearts will be attempting to go to one of each of the Moonlight Magics now that they're returning 2023. Also excited for this. DVC Lounge for Disneyland. Booyah, baby. How many coffees will you drink? Ready, set. Squeeze. Ready, set. Ready, set. Oh. 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 Aquabats! One, two, Aerobics! <laughs> <laughs> Teddy is so unsure of the whole idea. So is Dad. You okay? You okay? Am I okay? I almost destroyed you, yeah. Sarah and I think we made an executive decision about our home hunting in Florida. So our dear friend Kristen went and saw a house today that was like, I think it's gonna be gone by like five minutes from now. Like I really think, I really think if like we didn't jump on it the second Kristen went and saw it, it today. It was a gem. It, it was a gem, for us. but not our gem. They would have wanted us to start that lease on February 1st in like four days. Yeah. Which like that means that we would be and we're not gonna be down there till like middle of March yeah. So that would mean we're paying right. double rent for February double rent for March just, And like and if it was the perfect place maybe. We would have but yeah, I just wasn't it wasn't worth it. So we decided against it and then we also decided 
So if we're, if places out there want you to move in right away, can I, we don't want to pay double rent for two months. I mean, like, if it was like a, if it was like like the perfect place, we would make it work and pay double rent February, March. However, like searching for houses is like, we just called it like soul sucking. Like it takes a we, lot. We out both of you. get so invested. Yeah, in it. like we're I don't want to do anything else. Yeah. And it's like hard for me to try to figure out like, are we going to do a pods? Are we going to do a U-Haul to get our possessions down there? Basically, there's it's, until we it's have a house. lot. And so we, right now, what we're looking for is the perfect place if we're going to get something right away. And so it's harder to be like spending all of this time and we're not even just like finding like a place that could work great, but we like are literally looking for a perfect place to like rationalize spending so much money. So we decided we're going to stop looking for now. So with it being the middle of February, it'd be more likely to be like a March move in and you'd have two weeks to prep for it not three days you know like it's just like it's weird how the i don't know like the etiquette goes in that sense so i think that's that'll be good for us and then we can really like one we have to like not go out for longer than expected after peter tested positive for covid today and we can just enjoy like our time a little bit like just without having that as like another task on our plate for the next what, few weeks but then we'll get back into it what i think that i think we ran out of memory card oh it's still, still recording but it says zero minutes up there weird i've never seen that before well we're gonna watch ted lasso if this is recording yeah we're gonna finish the night and watch watch some ted lasso and not we're not going to Peloton. I'm not going to edit. We're just going to, like, enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. Is it good? Boom, 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 boom. Is it good? Boom, 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 boom. It's Saturday. I can't leave. I got cabin fever. But being smate. Smate? Safe and smart. Smate. <laughs> Sarah's about to go to her office hours. I'm gonna wear a mask still, but yeah. I'm gonna go. Good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know, we, I think we touched, I don't know if this made it in the mega vlog. Were we doing this, we were doing this before the cruise. Yeah. So we're doing that thing where like Sarah goes somewhere out of the house with her work, with her laptop to work on vlog stuff, whether that's like setting up a whether that's, whether that's um, like editing some TikToks, editing um the boys is like year in photos like if you've seen james's two videos or teddy's or teddy doesn't have one yet um we'll put the links below really fun videos but they're a lot of work and the trick is that sarah works on them throughout the year so it's not absolutely overwhelming so um she's gonna go to a coffee shop or are you going to the french place yeah. gonna go to the french coffee bakery place that we like mason marcel, mason marcel. So I'm gonna hang out with the boys. I'm about to get them out of their jammies. Sarah's gonna go have some French cuisine. A wee wee. I think I'm just gonna get a drink. Get a pastry. Okay. You got hoops. Twist on. my arm. <laughs> you got hoops and you gotta get a pastry when you got hoops on. What do you guys should get me? It's 23 degrees out. I was not aware of that when I left the house. I'm pretty bundled, like I'm all right, and it's not a far walk. 23 degrees. The fresh air feels good. Again, we are very much so ready to be out of the house. We've got a little Kevin fever going, so I feel lucky to be getting out. And here is my destination. I don't know, all oh, 2009, there you go. So we are gonna watch the 2009 version of Celebrate a Dream Come True Parade. Honestly, my favorite three o'clock parade ever, and I think, I don't know if this has like gotten better over time, but I feel like it is like the most dunked on, hated upon, shade thrown at, whatever cool young thing that means insulted um, parade at Disneyland. 
but it was probably because it was during my college program. It's my favorite. It was my first three o'clock parade, but I think it's an incredible three o'clock parade. I want to let you guys know we made something official today. We are fulfilling a dream of ours from our whole lives. And on March 5th, both Sarah and I are going to participate in the Chicago Polar Plunge. It's a fundraiser. It goes towards, uh, the funds go towards Special Olympics of Chicago. So supporting Special Olympics athletes throughout all 77 Chicago neighborhoods. Um, not as, as a big of a fundraising effort as our American Cancer Society. We need to fundraise $400 between both Sarah and myself um, for this event. I'm thinking we can do a little bit more than that though, but we'll put the link down below. We'd love for you to share that link if you are looking to uh, uh, donate to a different cause than just our Amer American Cancer Society causes. This is going to be um, pretty much just like this weekend or like the next week until we hit the goal plus a couple days. Um, just something. <laughs> are you so excited? What's you, what are you doing? Ooh, bleh. you're a big kid. Um, but I, while Sarah was gone, I registered ourselves and made ourselves like a team page for that. So very excited. We've never done it. I've always wanted to do it. It's ridiculous. It's kind of silly and foolish. Yeah. It's going to be fun. Um, I went to go get a bottle ready. And I came back and Teddy was standing up. What? We're going to try to lay down, do a little nap time action. If not, just rest all together. Thank you. Apparently, we're sharing the fig bar. Look at the snow. Oh my gosh. The neighborhood looks so beautiful. Oh my gosh. We really just haven't had snow like this, or at least we haven't gotten out in it. Oh. And it's just. It's just so pretty but it's very cold and I'm on my way home. Finally, I'll do more of an update when I get there because I forgot to love. Who's back from the adventure? A bit snowy out? Yeah, and it just like, felt magical. Nice, yeah. I think so. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you're back. I'm happy to be home. Thanks for holding down the fort and encouraging me to go. I I forgot how behind I was on Teddy's because mm -hmm. I got caught up at James's birthday for his, but I wasn't like literally I had to go all the way back to June. Ooh. And he was born in May. So I didn't get as much as I wanted to get done. <sighs> I want these days to be more vlog focused. But I know that any time that I can just like get away and focus on projects, it's good. Yeah. And, and that mean those videos mean a lot to us. You should go again tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. It's expensive because I like to drink myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mama, stop Yeah, you said last night. Oh, 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 oh nice. And we're gonna have this, have this on hand. Yeah. And I got you these, I feel sorry that you can't go out. <laughs> stop. So, go Thanks. I was just about to leave the cafe when the girl in front of me ordered the burrata. It smelled so good and Peter said, you have to order it. But I didn't want to stay there any longer, so I brought it home for us to share. Does that look good? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you enjoying the cookie? Oh, yes. Teddy's awake now. Cookies are a hit. They're like dark chocolate, milk chocolate, white chocolate, chip. I love that we're taking being like plant-based at home back, but like I'm happy that like we've made the decision to like when we are out or when we are wanting to experience like other foods that we're not letting that like stop us. It's like we know the benefits, we know how we feel on plant-based, but funny enough, while I was working, I was listening to Jonathan Van Ness's podcast, um, Getting Curious, and he had somebody on talking about the benefits of an animal-based diet because he's kind of like 
he's diving into a lot of the different scopes of how diets are different around around the world and how there really isn't like one one option to like suit all of humanity especially in places that they don't have a lot of plants like Greenland that's like where they were talking about um, or just the access to things I don't know it was really interesting especially as we are kind of like getting more serious about being plant-based at home um, also if you've never listened to this podcast it's awesome because it's literally just anything he's curious about so the topic ranges are like endless so if you haven't ever listened to his podcast it's fabulous <laughs> James really wanted a lemon for some reason, and he walked out to the living room and I was following him. <laughs> yeah, and he just straight just took a bite of it. It's not an apple, baby. You just had an apple. Yeah, eat your Irish soda bread. That's tasty. Teddy, get it. Get it. Wow. We might have a crawler. Go Teddy, go Teddy, go! Go Teddy! Get it! Hey! Wow! Even if it's not a crawl, he's getting around. It's almost like a bear crawl. What? What? So even though we've been home for a while, there are just some things that we were still getting back into the swing of. Obviously we we're sick. I just cleared off the dining room table and it kind of got me in like a purgy, packy mood. Um, which is sometimes dangerous for us because we, when we like start, we go all out. Um, and there was one task that we actually have been meaning to do regardless and that is switching out Teddy's clothes. He still has like three to six month clothes in his drawers, whereas he's like between six and 12 months. And for whatever reason, we didn't have a lot of that for James. Like, I feel like he went from six to 12 month size very quick. So I got some nine month clothes and I think I'm gonna switch out, like put his other clothes in these bins. That stuff going to the Sakards tomorrow. That stuff that has to be returned to, to Amazon. Um, so I don't know, our like gears just kind of changed and we're kind of in like productive mode, but like, like let's get stuff out of here mode. If you know me, you know that I need to take stickers off of everything and anything that comes with a sticker on it. And what's worse than a sticker is when they don't peel off cleanly if i have one pet peeve in the world this is it um room essentials come on it's just a, it's just a different kind of adhesive that makes it so much easier on your people even though i need this off my prior my priority now is to pack the stuff away so i'm gonna have to get some goo gone later but come on okay we're doing round two of our curried veggies but with dumplings this time Evie, if you uh didn't know this. Evie's like, she's not on Team Snow. She kind of is a Florida dog. You gotta remember, she was only like six months old when we moved to Florida. So I think she spent more time in Florida. I have brought together well, only three artists still, a very powerful playlist that I like to call still in the quarantine. So we're on the Peloton so as well. Let's go. Good job. You ended it. Mm -hmm. Good job. Goodness. It was a long day. We finished season one of Ted Lasso before we were productive. And I am quite the fan. <laughs> season two is weird because like it goes into like a lot of different character arcs and cool stories and there's a Christmas episode. So get ready. <laughs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>